Still to come, the main event tonight between Eric Morales and Manny Pacquiao. That's the reason the arena is nearly full. That's the reason there are more than 400 media credentialed boxing reporters here. That's the reason that people are up all night in the Philippines to watch their national hero. Last year, when Manny Pacquiao emerged from a bizarre fight with Juan Manuel Marquez here as the recipient of a draw decision in a fight in which he had knocked Marquez down three times in the first round, we all thought that's the ideal pretext for a rematch. But when Marquez asked for more money than the Pacquiao people thought was right for this fight, Eric Morales, smarting from his loss to Marco Antonio Barrera, stepped in and with his greater marketing power, seized this opportunity. Tonight, two indomitable forces collide. Eric Morales stalking and attacking. Manny Pacquiao is a storm. In a dream matchup for fight fans, two of boxing's most electrifying warriors face off. Pacquiao tries to finish Barrera. Here comes Morales. Barrera's gonna fight fire with fire. Two fighters who give everything they have. Both have the hearts of champions. In 2004, Eric Morales and Manny Pacquiao gave us two of the sport's most stirring fights. Last May, against featherweight titleist Juan Manuel Marquez, Pacquiao attacked from the opening bell. He fires the straight left hand, and there's the punching bout. Third knockdown of the first round. There's a hard right hand by Marquez that jolted Pacquiao. They get ready to trade again. Fight comes alive. What a fight! Six months later, Eric Morales wrote his share of the third chapter of one of boxing's most storied rivalries ever. Barrera stepping inside and hammering Morales. This is brilliant Barrera stuff. Now it's Morales who's getting off and beating Barrera to the punch. A raging passion on the part of both fighters. Then savagely trained until the final bell. Yes! Tonight, it's one man's strength and savage intensity against another's raging bull ferocity. Boxing's version of March Madness. Eric Morales takes on Manny Pacquiao next. Time for our main event, Eric Morales against Manny Pacquiao. Morales may be perceived as the bigger man, having won titles at featherweight and at 130 pounds, but Pacquiao is the betting favorite, most likely because of his emphatic 11th round technical knockout of Marco Antonio Barrera in November 2003. Morales versus Pacquiao is being brought to you by MGM Grand, the city of entertainment in Las Vegas and HBO Pay-Per-View, the best in pay-per-view entertainment, brought to you by HBO. You may have lost a majority decision to Marco Antonio Barrera in their November rubber match, but you have to give Eric Morales tremendous credit. Tonight, in his coming back fight, he faces another of the world's best in Barrera beater, Manny Pacquiao. And Pacquiao may have taken the measure of Barrera 16 months ago, but that was at 126 pounds. Manny fights tonight at 130 for the first time in his professional career against an opponent who has watched his every move for the past year and a half. Welcome back live at ringside. The preceding section, those last three minutes or so, all on videotape. And while that was taking place, the scene here in the arena, as raucous, as wild, as loud, as festive as we've ever seen anywhere before a big fight. This place is a madhouse tonight. And Larry Merchant, it's a madhouse because of the extremely passionate support 
that Eric Morales gets from his fans from Tijuana and all over Mexico, that Manny Pacquiao gets from his fans in the Philippines and all over the Pacific Rim. Is there any way to measure the inspiration that the two fighters get from their respective followings? Well, we can start by measuring the sale of socks in Manila. Okay. <laughs> After that dramatic draw with Marquez last May, Pacquiao said that he had suffered from blisters on the bottoms of his feet because of thin socks he wore. The result? He got an endorsement for thicker socks with his picture on him. In other words, a pop idol's fans were turning his lemonade, his lemons, into lemonade. Mexican fans once virtually sainted Marco Antonio Barrera for disposing of, for showing that their fighters were the best fighters in the world when he defeated Prince Nassim. And tonight, Morales expects the same if he beats Pacquiao, despite his two losses to Barrera, that he will be restored in full as a hero. Jim, given the high expectations everyone has of this fight, it's almost as if the loser will come out bigger than ever before. Well, it, it, it shows tremendous spirit for both fighters to have wanted this fight, in particular off what Pacquiao's done in the last few years. Nobody really wants to fight Manny Pacquiao, or so it would seem, but Eric Morales did. And that's part of what has made him such a great fighter over the years is his, his courage, Roy Jones, his desire. But if this fight is going to come down, as many people think it will, to which guy can take the other man's punch? Does the advantage lie with the bigger, more experienced Morales, or does it lie with the knockout sensation of the lower weight classes, Manny Thunderstorm Pacquiao? <laughs> well, normally I would say that lies in the favor of Morales, mainly because he's a bigger fighter, he's taller, he's been through more fights, he's taken a lot more punches. We've seen him take a lot bigger shots than we've seen Pacquiao take. However, being that he's coming off such a hard fight so quickly, Four months ago, he was just in a real brutal battle with Pereira. That makes me start to second guess his ability to take a punch tonight. And to be honest with you, Pacquiao is no slouch when it comes to punching power. A lot of people think that Eric Morales' best chance to win this fight is to discipline himself and box. Amid this crowd, in this atmosphere, that won't be easy. No what a night. Way. Let's get ready now for the tale of the tape. Eric Morales against Manny Pacquiao. And remember, it's Pacquiao's first fight at 130 pounds. He weighed in a half pound under the weight limit easily. Eric Morales had to take off all of his clothes to weigh in right at 130. Tonight, Morales has put on 10 pounds to go up to 140. Pacquiao, nine up to 139, or nine and a half up to 139. They are functionally the same size as they go into the ring. Morales is taller. Pacquiao has the longer arms. Both are hard punchers. This should be great. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Eric Morales Manny Pacquiao fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. In case the cut is caused by an accidental headbutt, we go to the scorecards if the four rounds have been completed and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 12th and final round. Jim. Thank you very much, Harold. Pageantry now. Let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, would everyone please rise for the national anthems for the two home countries of the fighters in the main event. First up here to sing the national anthem of the Philippines, please welcome Lani Misalucha. Sadagat at bundok. 
Dok sa simuyat sa langit mang bukhaw may dilagang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal ang kislap ng watao at muy tagumpay na nagniningning ang bituin at araw niya kailan pa may di magdidilim lupa ng And now, ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the national anthem of Mexico and here to perform it, Mario Tadeo Hernandez. Mexicanos al grito de guerra, el acero a prestad y el bridón, y retiemble en sus centros la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón y retiembla en sus centros la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón Siño patria tú sienes de oliva de la paz el arcángel divino que en el cielo tu eterno destino por el dedo de Dios se escribió Mas si osare un extraño enemigo profanar con sus plantas tu suelo, pienso patria querida que el cielo un soldado en cada hijo te dio, un soldado en cada hijo te dio. Mexicanos el grito de guerra, el acero a prestad y el bridón y retiembla en sus centros la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón y retiembla en sus centros la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón. ¡Viva México! We are a moment away, ladies and gentlemen, in attendance here at ringside tonight, the greatest running back in NFL history, Jim Brown. And ladies and gentlemen, earlier tonight, you saw this man's son fight. He's still an undefeated fighter, but he is here at ringside tonight, and on May 28th, it'll be adios as he fights his final bout on pay-per-view, May 28th. Ladies and gentlemen, he is recognized with his over 100 victories as the greatest champion out of Mexico in history. The Culiacan Mexico, the three-time world champion, Julio Cesar Chavez. career he has been susceptible at some times to the power punches of his opponents Eric Morales suffered one flash knockdown controversial against Marco Antonio Barrera in their first fight and otherwise has shown a chin of iron so that's one of the key confrontations in the fight and Pacquiao smiling as he feeds off the energy from this extraordinary crowd those uh Knockdowns of Pacquiao occurred early in his career for the most part. But how do you knock down Elvis or Ali? <laughs> That's what he is in the Philippines. There are said to be upwards of 20 Filipino congressmen here, a few governors, and the first gentleman of the country, 
the husband of the president of the Philippines, who is uh, Gloria Arroyo. Certainly few superstar boxers have ever shown the enjoyment of their careers as visibly and as publicly as Pacquiao does. Certainly Morales doesn't. He has been tense and tight-lipped and stern-faced through most of his career, although here, Roy Jones, more relaxed than I've ever seen him before a big fight, seemingly happy in his skin for maybe the first time. What would be the reasons? Well, one reason would be that they said they paid him in excess of $2.5 million. That would make him happy. But two, he's not fighting Marco Antonio Guerrero. He's fighting somebody he hasn't been in the ring with. Now his expectations are high, and he feels like he has the plaque to beat this guy that nobody seems to be able to beat right now. This, this fighter, who has been such a warrior for so many years, is an eight or nine to five underdog. In the opinion of the media experts, it's about 50-50 down the middle. But the public has bet this fight up, believing that with Pacquiao stopping Barrera, Barrera beating Morales in their last two fights, that Morales showed that he was slower at this weight in the last fight with Barrera, and the money is on Pacquiao. We'll see if it's smart money or dumb money. So Morales is a significant underdog, maybe for the first time in his career. Rest assured, this is the kind of guy who knows the odds and sees them as an insult. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, Nevada, Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated and uh, Murad Mohammed's M&M Sports are proud to present the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing in the super featherweight division. Brought to you in association with Corona Extra and HBO Pay-Per-View, sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman Skip Avancino Jr., Executive Director Mark Ratner. At ringside, the three judges scoring this contest on the 10-point system will be Chuck Jampa, Dave Moretti, and Paul Smith. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Joe Cortez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Uh, let's get her! Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white, official weight, 130 pounds. Professional record, 47 victories, including 34 KOs with only two defeats. Thomas Caballeros de la Zona Norte, Tijuana, Mexico, the three-time world champion, Eric El Terrible. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red with flames. Official weight, 129 and one half pounds. Professional record, 39 victories, including 30 knockouts, with only two defeats and two bouts even. From General Santos City, the Philippines, the three-time champion of the world, Manny. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, we want all the rules in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Quiero una pelea limpia. Ya le regalan camerino. Trunks here. It's a little high. 
He was a little high too. Punches here are still good. Then we're not playing Alipi. I want a good clean fight. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch him up. They say that what happens in Las Vegas stays in Las Vegas. <laughs> Happily, this one is for everyone, everywhere. says that he watched tapes of Manny Pacquiao's fight with Juan Manuel Marquez last year eight different times. Let's see if that's properly prepared him for the speed and left-hand power of Pacquiao, which have been devastating and shocking to many opponents in the first round. For his part, Pacquiao's trainer, Freddie Roach, says he's been too left-hand dominant. To beat Morales, he'll have to use his lead hand, his right hand, more and better. Pacquiao gets in the first little punch of the fight, a quick jab. Yeah, with Morales, if he watched the fights with uh, Manuel Marquez, he knows that his best out is to take Pacquiao in that deep water. Because he came out and blew Mar Marquez away right away, but Marquez was able to bring himself back into the fight in the late rounds. And that's where Eric was looking to do more than likely. Clearly, Pacquiao has respect for Morales, whom he has not assaulted as freely and openly as he did Marquez and Barrera in the opening seconds of the fight. Morales starts out with a right hand to the body that just missed. Pacquiao got that left hand in down the chute, but nowhere near the same shocking power that he demonstrated against Marquez. Pacquiao trying to get to the body. Morales pushes him back. Both fighters focusing on the body early, but now Pacquiao lands his left hand play. And again, and the blinding speed of Pacquiao's apparent, and Morales chases him across the ring and says, let's fight, and fires a right hand to the body after landing two upstairs. One thing about it, Morales ain't scared, and he's here to fight. Like so many great fighters, if you come close to hurting Eric Morales, he's coming right at you. He wants to come back right away. Another hard left hand, partially blocked, but doing damage anyway. Morales very wary about Pacquiao's left hand power. Pacquiao doing some good work to the body, which we all haven't always seen him do. And he lands a right hand upstairs. He hurt, he hurt Morales his body. is hurt. His body's hurt. He hurt, he hurt Morales' body. Really bad. So the power is showing up as Morales wobbles away and then turns around and fires a combination to pin Pacquiao back against the ropes. And already in round one, we see the seesaw action that everybody anticipated. Talk about living up to expectations. <laughs> and uh, our interpreter, where they speak Tagalog in this corner, our interpreter is Ernie Kalua. You do it for a, get him with an uppercut. Our interpreter here is Ray Torres. Come on, deep breath. Don't, don't take him to the middle of the ring. Leave him. I don't want you on the ropes. What, what do you left? Here you see Pacquiao on the attack with that big left hand coming at Morales. He landed a left hand, a right hook. And as soon as he stops, Morales tells him to come on, and Morales brings it back to him and lands his right hand of his own and two jabs, and he continues to drive him backwards. Total in round one, Morales 17 out of 48, Pacquiao 19 out of 83. So Pacquiao throwing more freely, Morales a little bit more self-protective, but nevertheless able to pick his spots and do almost as much damage as Manny did. Another left hand lands for Pacquiao. The speed is still there. Well, 
Thomas looks like he's virtually conceded that he's in with the quicker fighter and he wants to counter punch, uh, except when he can get him on the ropes. Now he takes a lead. And Morales lands upstairs after having focused mostly the body up to that point. Pacquiao holds his hands out as if to say, you can't hurt me. Two hard right hand jabs for Manny Pacquiao. His promoters and publicists have been trumpeting a weapon called Manila Ice, and it becomes clear that Manila Ice is supposed to be the right hand. <laughs> maybe a hook, maybe an uppercut, we'll see. It's the left hand that opponents worry about. That was a good right hand body shot by Eric Morales. And a great right fight. hand counter upstairs as Pacquiao dropped his hands. Yeah, if Morales fights this fight like this, he's gonna be okay, just as to not get caught with the big punches. Morales is disciplining himself to keep his activity level down, try to limit Pacquiao's chances, and keep it a boxing match rather than an all-out war. And that was a big left hand by Pacquiao. But that was a good right-hand body shot by Morales that drove him back. The only thing I, the only thing I don't like about Morales here is he's fighting a big guy's pace. And that's a tough pace to fight against Pacquiao, but if he can survive, then he'll be okay because he won't tire as quick as Pacquiao will. Especially if he keeps landing that right to the body like he's doing. And Morales starting to put the straight right hand into play more often. It becomes apparent early on that part of Morales' strategy is to funnel the straight right hand to the body and look for opportunities to counter upstairs. And to not get himself in harm's way of Pacquiao's straight left hand. Take him in the deep water like, like that. Like Just took the left hand there, and it drove Morales back into the ropes. <laughs> Good right hand uppercut by Morales. Saw his chance and took it. Morales is, in a sense, trying to impose his size on Pacquiao. He I is doing a bigger it too. guy. Good hard right hand by Morales. goes back to the corner at the end of two. But unlike both Marco Antonio Barrera and Juan Manuel, Manuel Marquez, Morales has gotten through the storm of the first two rounds without tasting the canvas. Hi, Manny. Now here. You stand up the uppercut perfect. Let's go with that uppercut behind the jab for me, okay, son? All right, look for that right uppercut behind the sun. All right. All right? Now here. Here, after the combinations, you can't stand in front of this guy. You've got to use your feet, all right? All right? Use your speed, okay? Yeah. Deep breath. Vaseline. Do it fast. CompuBox numbers in the second round. Morales, 16 out of 56. Pacquiao, 9 out of 60. So Manny Pacquiao not able to land as frequently in round two as was the case in round one, at least according to Copy Box. Morales comes out in the same position, bobbing back and forth from right to left. And for a guy who has seldom gone backward in his whole career, Morales is playing the role of the counterpuncher here. He didn't just watch that Marquez film, he has adopted it. You're exactly right, and this is what you want to see on a fighter like uh, Morales. Very smart. And I think he's trying to get the fight into the late rounds where he feels that Pacquiao may run out of some steam. He may also be trying to drain some of Pacquiao's confidence by giving him the same picture Marquez gave him during those last seven or eight rounds when Marquez was dominant. And that's what he likes, looks like he's doing, but right there he has to be careful not to get caught with the big punches while he's doing this. Pacquiao twice to the body. Joe Cortez says, keep your heads apart. Good straight right lead by Morales. Drove Pacquiao back. Now he lands the left two. Hard right hand coming up underneath by Pacquiao. And a left hand to the body. But Eric Morales has taken 36 rounds worth of body shots for Marco Antonio Barrera. He's been in with some of the best in that regard.
Pacquiao getting back up on his feet and using his speed a little more. That's what Freddie Roach told him to do. Well, they say the way the way to try to control quick hands is with a jab. Morales hasn't used it that often. Morales is picking his spots. He's slowing the pace, and he's starting to land very accurately with his left hand on Pacquiao's face. That was a good jab, a good right hand, a good left hook by Morales. It's going to make it very hard for Pacquiao to get off if Morales can put him on the defensive from this kind of fighting style. Now Pacquiao lands and drives Morales into the corner. And Eric is just avoiding the big stuff and allowing Pacquiao to tap him to the body. You want to make him work and get him tired. A very smart fight by Eric Morales so far. And he bangs Pacquiao with two right hands. And Manny tries to fire away, and Eric still picks his spots and lands accurately. And Manny just landed that ice, but it didn't do nothing to Eric. Yeah, Eric has a, an iron jaw and has had all of his career. Took a hard left hand, landed a body shot, and another right hand upstairs. Took a hit is getting very excited. And Pacquiao's getting very tired. Pressure this big fight is getting to him. This is a brilliant round for Eric Morales, who has given Pacquiao a whole new look and made it work. The pressure is getting to Pacquiao because he has something to hold here, and Eric has something to prove. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? We got the water here. That's that's it. Deep breaths. You're doing fine. It's okay. Everything you're doing is fine. Okay. You pay attention. After the combinations, you pay attention. You gotta move your head. Yeah. All right. Right. <laughs> Manny, do not take this guy lightly. Don't play with him. When you hurt him on the ropes here, you take advantage of him. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Deep breath. Second song, guys. Deep breath, one more. Okay. A note of concern in Freddie Roach's voice as he says, hey, you're not supposed to take this guy lightly. How could you take Eric Morales lightly? That's not possible. Well, what, he, what I think he's saying is that you're not supposed to go out here and try to run over him like he's a chump, or you're going to wear yourself out, and he's still going to have energy left. In round three, Morales, 23 out of 60. Brilliant tactical round. Pacquiao, 19 out of 84. Morales, 11 out of 33 jabs. Harold, how do you have it so far? Okay, Jim, two rounds to one, 29, 28, Eric Morales. I gave him rounds two and three, Jim. I gotta tell you something. If Eric Morales keeps his cool and keeps him on the end of that jab, he seems to be doing very, very well. Beautiful ring generalship. But the minute Manny Pacquiao tears into him, Morales loses everything. He goes totally nuts, and he just starts throwing wildly, and Pacquiao gets the best of him. In any case, 2-1, Morales. I have it 2-1 for Pacquiao. The third round was a very close round I gave to Pacquiao. But you know, you can't change Morales. He's had a lot of success with the style that he fights in. And uh, this is what he does. He's not going to fight a perfectly disciplined boxer's fight. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Morales with a hard right hand coming back. And I think it's clear right now, Manny Pacquiao isn't going to deck Eric Morales with one big shot. No, he's not. And I'll tell you something else. It's also clear that if Eric Morales continues to go to that right, with that right hand to the body, it's going to be a long night for Pacquiao. Now Pacquiao gets more accurate as he pops Morales with short punches from close range. But he's showing signs of fatigue already, Jim, because he's throwing a lot of punches in this fight already. He's not fighting the pace he wants to fight. Eric is making him fight a different pace, and he's beating that body. That's very smart, like I talked about in the first fight. A professional knows how to go up and down, and that's what Eric's doing right now. And already some of the sting is out of Pacquiao's punches. You're seeing arm punches. You're seeing him push the left hand from time to time. Eric Morales is taking some of the sack. Out of Manny Pacquiao. But Pacquiao is still dangerous. He but not get overconfident here. But all the zap is just about gone. His confidence is being bottled because Eric is doing things to him to humiliate him in front of his crowd. Well, I think that's an overstatement, Roy. You know, it's a long way to go in the fight. Uh, I think in part what's going on here is you ain't never boxed before. You got to know boxing to know this to see what's happening here. You have a box before you know what I'm talking about. And well, that is not over. We can disagree, Roy, without having to pull rank. <laughs> <laughs> Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Again, Morales takes it pretty well. 
I just think that we're being caught up a little bit in the expectations that Pacquiao was going to come out and tear into Morales and do some serious damage. That doesn't mean he's still not doing well. Yeah, he's doing well. I'm not saying he's not doing well, but I'm saying he's in a bad spot right now for, for him. We'll see how it all plays out. And that's a great discussion you guys are having. The only thing I'll say about it is I think Morales won the third round. And I think he won the fourth as well. <laughs> but both guys did damage in that round. Nice deep breath, son. All right, Manny. You can't wait on this guy. You better back him up with your jab. You right? Let's go. Let's back this guy up. His head movement. Let your hands go. You get his head movement going to him. You hear me? You're getting him from the distance, so keep him out there. In the distance. Box him from the distance. Don't let him get close. Be careful with the headbutt. Please give me the distance. He see Morales coming off of the counter with the overhand right, boom, a good right hand, flesh on the jaw of Pacquiao, and Pacquiao showing good ability, a good ability to take a punch there, because that was a beautiful punch. Jabs through round four, according to CompuBox, Morales 31 out of 103, Pacquiao's thrown more, 123, but he's only landed five. Interesting, because when we measured their arms from the armpit to the end of the fist, Pacquiao had the longer arms. But it's Morales who's making his jab a factor. Well, either one of these guys can land a shot that can put the other guy out, like Larry saying. But Morales is in the best position right now because this is the fight he wants. This is how Marquez came back and did so well against Pacquiao after being almost shut out. Yeah, what Marquez was able to do was sort of use Pacquiao's relentlessness against him. And that's what, that's what Morales watched, and that's what he's trying to do. A hard left hand. hand by Pacquiao, right down the pipe. But again, Morales is taking these punches well. Better than most previous Pacquiao opponents. Action fight into the fifth. As long as Pacquiao can keep the fight in the middle of the ring, his quick hands have the advantage. Definitely. Good left hook by Morales. Inside. Pacquiao never saw it coming. There's another left hook he didn't see. There's a right uppercut that landed, too. Pacquiao's doing some damage. Morales is landing the higher quality shots. And somebody he's is picking his spots. Somebody is bleeding. It's not Morales. It's, it's Pacquiao who's bad. from his right eye. Bad. Bad. Big time. And if that was off a of Morales left hook, or maybe a headbutt. All right, time. 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 Doctor is going to have to look okay, at Pacquiao. Yeah. I think this is going to have a punch. It's hit by a punch. Indeed, Nevada State Athletic Commission Executive Director Mark Ratner holds up the sign that says this cut was caused by a punch. Eric Morales' left hook, well placed inside. Okay, okay. Hi, I gotta get that corner. All right. Pacquiao's clientele obviously worried as this takes a long time to evaluate. Why the, I, I don't understand why this is taking so much time. I don't understand why the doctor came in the ring. I thought the guy was supposed to go to the corner and the doctor was supposed to operate over the ring rope. Exactly. Instead of stepping all the way into the ring and walking around, that was very unusual. Dr. Margaret Goodman, who is the chief medical officer Isn't here, is not fight. on this fight. Pacquiao seems a little bit wary and off stride right now. He's not throwing. And Morales, once again, getting an opportunity to control, but now Pacquiao comes back and lands a combination. 
Left hook by Morales again. Sent Pacquiao reeling into the ropes. That jab right there is going to be a big factor for Morales. He starts jabbing, it's going to be a hard night for Pacquiao. And Pacquiao stuffs the left hand right into Morales' mouth, and Eric just looks at it. As if to say, I'm a bigger man. You're fighting at 130. Welcome to my neighborhood. The bud encircles Manny Pacquiao's right eye. As we follow Pacquiao to his corner, the cut man is Lenny De Jesus. Freddie Roach has also been known to work with a cut, but it's De Jesus who's going to reach in. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Deep breath, son. Deep breath. All right, now here. You get to take it to this guy, okay? All right, back him up. A little combination. You heard him coming down here. Right here, we're looking to see what happened. We see Eric throw a left, a right. Bam, that's a headbutt that probably caused Absolutely. the Absolutely. And a hook came out, but I think the headbutt is what caused the gash. It makes all the sense in the world. Yeah. Yeah, I think the headbutt definitely well, it'll be interesting caused to again. see if the Nevada State Athletic Commission changes their opinion. I don't think they'll do that, but... Could affect the fight. Round, round five, Morales landed 55% of his power shots, 18 out of 33. Manny Pacquiao is clearly disturbed and thrown off stride in the fifth round by the cut next to his eye. Now they've had a chance to treat it between rounds. Let's see what Pacquiao can do in the sixth. Morales' ability to take a punch keeps him in his fight. And now we can see if he can control Pacquiao with his jab and occasionally flurry with him on the ropes. Harold Letterman says to us that if the referee, Joe Cortez, is the one who ruled that the cut was caused by a punch, not a headbutt, that decision can't be changed. Pacquiao clearly feels as though he's going to need a knockout. He's trying to get it now. Yes, he is. So the excitement doubles as Manny Pacquiao senses that he's in a desperate situation with the cut next to his right eye. The hottest knockout machine in the lower weight classes needs a knockout. some good body shots in here. Good flurry by Pacquiao. Gets to the body. Morales seems to be taking the round off a little bit. It seems like he's taking a little break. Maybe a little tired. Maybe a little windy. Or he could be playing possum. You never know about Chewy Blake. And they want to let Pacquiao punch himself yeah. out a little bit. Yeah, and then yeah. turn things around. This. You never know about Terry Blake. He's a smart fighter. He's been doing this for a while. This ain't his first big fight, and this ain't his second or third either. Born in a boxing gym. <laughs> Good jab by Terry Blake. If he uses that jab, he'd make it a very difficult night for many. Stopping Pacquiao right in his tracks. Every once in a while, Pacquiao races forward and fires the left-hand lead. But as long as they stay at distance in a boxing stance, Eric Morales has the advantage. Bigger and a better jab. Good jab. All right, let him up, let him up, let him up. Rebate boxes for a little while, then he tests Pacquiao to see if he finished yet. Then he boxes for a little while, then he tests him again to see if he finished yet. The vast difference in experience has shown up. Eric Morales is in command of a big fight, the way he has been so many times in his career. Deep breath, son. Oh. Easy, easy, down. easy. Let him, let him breathe. <sighs> Calm down, bro. All right, nice deep breath, son. All right, Manny. 
Manny. Manny. Manny. Manny. Now here. Just relax. You hey, cannot wait on this man, OK? The fight is to back him up. All right? You've got to back this guy up with a jab and go in combination, OK? All right. The fight is turned more tactical, but the blood oh, oh, adds oh, drama. Time. Time. All right. To it. All right, time in. All right, let's put the drama in context. First of all, Harold, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim, there's a couple of things I want to go over. 58, 56, four rounds to two, Eric Morales. Number one, in round five, you had a long delay while the doctor looked at that cut. A good judge will make a note of what happened early in the round so that he doesn't forget. And early in the round, there's no question that Pacquiao was winning. Okay, that's number one. Number two, under the rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions, only the referee can stop the fight. Only the referee can make the decision whether it's a butt or a punch. If Joe Cortez didn't see that butt, it's a punch. If this fight gets stopped, Morales wins by TKO. Well, we don't have instant replay, but we should in a case like this. No, we, we have it as televisors. We don't have it in our sport. I have the fight even at three rounds apiece. Pacquiao's coming out a lot stronger this round than he had in the last pre in the previous two rounds, I mean. So he may have found something. Pacquiao may have determined that he's able to fight with his eye in that shape, and that rekindles some of his will. Gives him the energy that he's shown in the early part of the round here. He's definitely won the first half of this round. Now Morales starts to counter. And momentarily wobbles Pacquiao on, on, with on, an on, inside on, right hand. Oh my gosh, they're trading on, some strong on, punches on, too. All right, come on, come on. They are trading some very good punches. Right hand over the top by Morales. Right oh, hands oh, to oh, the body. Oh, 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 right Pacquiao hand. lands a sizzling left. Pacquiao with a four punch combination. Definitely has to quicker hands. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, get up, get up. Bring up, bring up, bring up, come on, bring up. Great body shot by Morales. Yeah, that's what he needs to do the whole fight right there. Oh, get, out, get him out, get him out. All right, bring up, bring up. Let's go. Got one in just under the belt line. Cortez let him have it. Oh. Great right hand lead. Oh. Wobbles Pacquiao again. Well, Pacquiao took that punch very good, though. You know, Morales right, right. has bring never up, been up, a big up. puncher, Roy. No, nope. yeah. that was a good shot. He just beat you down. He's a willful guy, that's for sure, as he hammers that right hand oh, down the chute goodness, good and goes shot. back to the body with a vicious shot that all but doubled Pacquiao over. Yeah, that had to hurt real bad. Great left hand by Morales, stops Pacquiao in his track. Right hand wobbles him again. Morales senses a chance. Pacquiao oh, comes back. Be careful about letting your hands go against Pacquiao, but Morales feels strong now. What a, what a brilliant round. Banyan, Banyan, Banyan. Come on, let, 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 let's get the bucket. Put a lot of water on him. Come on. Give me a towel. Vaseline, guys. Okay. Vaseline. <laughs> Manny. That was a good round. You back this guy up now. Where's those body shots for me? Huh? Just relax. Pacquiao landed a good under and over shot here with his left hand. It was a beautiful shot against Morales early in the round. But Morales comes back and comes with the straight right hand that has been working beautifully for him all night. Followed by a left and another straight right hand. Morales is an orchid that grew up in a ghetto. Pacquiao is an orchid that came out of a rice paddy, and they're as tough as weeds. Now chanting Morales, Morales, Morales. There have been moments when it felt like the whole house was chanting Pacquiao, Pacquiao, Pacquiao. 
People are standing on their feet in the bleachers way up in the upper regions of the arena. Oh, right, 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 come on. Let's go. There isn't an empty seat. House is configured to hold 14,000 plus. It's about as wild a crowd as we've seen since the night we spent in a Tijuana bull ring with Eric Morales against Junior Jones. I think, I think Morales has answered all the questions about whether he would still be fresh, still be strong after a, just four months from that emotional showdown with Barrera. He asked those quickly. In the middle of the week, Morales' Mexican promoter, Fernando Beltran, after listening, oh my goodness, stop the story and cover the action as they trade shots viciously again. At a news conference, Beltran listened to Pacquiao's people talking about how Manny was going to attack Morales and maybe take him out in a round or two. And after about 20 minutes, Beltran had heard enough and stood up and took over the microphone and said, let me tell you something. My man doesn't quit. When Manny Pacquiao got fouled against Agapito Sanchez, he wanted out of the fight. The same thing happened in a draw that Pacquiao got in the Philippines. But Eric Morales won't quit. Not He'll at all. fight through anything. He does till the end. And it's so funny how boxing goes because right now I'm looking at Eric Mor Morales and he's almost in a similar situation that Barrera was in when he fought the Prince. He's using his greater skills and craft to school somebody who was a sensation. And he's coming in as the underdog to do so. It is very similar to what Barrera did with, of course, this fight isn't as one-sided as no that way. one was. By no means. Pacquiao, let's not give you a moment of inkling that he doesn't have a chance. <laughs> He's got a good chance. He just hurt Morales with a right hand. He's still in the fight in a major way, and he's not giving up here. He's showing something I don't think we ever seen from him in the Philippines. Caught Morales with a left hand there. Eric's hands are at his waist or below. Straight right hand for Morales. And a left hook. Hard right hand for Pacquiao. Another great round. Two brave warriors. Sit him down. Sit him down. Sit him down. Don't talk to him. Let him relax. You know what? Nice deep breath, son. Calm down. Deep breath, man. Come on. It's a good round out there, son. Now, here, you got to go to the body and headshots for me, OK? Yeah. Nine rounds to the body. Nine rounds. Malu Come on, it, with, at the distance, without letting up. No pulsing. Deep breath. Come on, let's take a deep breath. Throw the one, two, three, and don't let him. The right hand is what you need to do. Use the right hand. I want to bring something up here, Jim. It was a dispute over the gloves before this fight. Morales considered the puncher has always used Reyes a puncher's gloves in America. But his promoter allowed to be written into the contract that he would use a different type of glove called winner's gloves, which is not considered a puncher's gloves, the glove favored by Morales. Nobody can say how that affects this fight, whether that diminishes Pacquiao's power or not, but it's something that has to be pointed out. I just got one question. Why wouldn't Manny Pacquiao want to wear a puncher's glove? He did want to wear the puncher's glove, but his promoter did not talk to him about it before he signed the contract agreeing to use the gloves that Morales wanted. Good stiff jab by Morales. CompuBox numbers since the headbutt in round five. Morales, 83 out of 208 for 40 percent. Pacquiao, 53 oh, out of 245 oh, oh, oh. for 22 percent. Okay. Only makes sense okay. that Pacquiao, as he becomes a little more desperate, might not land as just at that high a rate. I just want to uh, recover that territory. It was Pacquiao who wanted the punches gloves, which he's always used. Morales didn't. And Pacquiao's promoter was snookered into agreeing to use a, a Morales' 
gloves in the contract for this fight. Well, of course, the fascinating reversal variant then is that Pacquiao, the Filipino, wanted to wear Mexican gloves, and Morales wound up tricking him into wearing Asian gloves. We've taken this many punches and as clean shots as they have been taken Does and landed matter? tonight. It really doesn't matter. I don't care what kind of gloves they got on. This will be a bloodbath regardless, and it will be just like it's happening right now. Hard right. right hand by Pacquiao. Drove Morales back. Eric Morales is hurt right now. Manny Pacquiao finally got in that big punch he's been looking for. But does he have the energy to finish it because he did land a good shot? He got another one in there. Another left hand. And now Morales goes forward. Eric Morales can't stand to be hurt. He has to go back at his guy. That's a true, that's two true warriors in here. All right, stop, stop. And Pacquiao just doesn't stop. Pacquiao lands another straight left hand. Morales oh, instantly tries to come back again. This has turned into a good round for Manny Pacquiao, partially because Morales is affording him opportunities. Let him keep coming first, and he's not going to stop coming. Now Morales wants his moment. Drives Pacquiao back with a jab in the right hand. Manny takes advantage of the chance to flurry and pops Eric with a right and a left at the end of the round, and Morales wobbles to his corner. Sit down. Suddenly, the tenor of the fight changes. Come on, keep your hands up. Watch your legs. If you stay up to front. Deep breath. All right. Good job, Manny. Now here, you got to keep backing this guy up, okay? You, Manny, you push him for three minutes, he's gonna fade, okay? He's gonna quit on you. All right. You're in better shape than me. He's higher, higher now. Let's stay on this guy for me, okay? Yeah. All right, Manny, you cannot let him come to you. You gotta let him you back him up with your jab and body shots and back to the head, right? Right. Combinations, all right? Yeah. Stay on this guy. Now sit down and a couple hard shots for me. Up, Chilly night in Las Vegas. The beautiful scene outside the MGM Grand. Inside, not an empty seat. In the MGM Grand oh. Garden Arena, we go to the 10th of a Schedule 12 in a fight that may be five rounds to four either way. Power shots in the ninth round. Pacquiao landed 17, appeared to win the round. And Eric Morales and Manny Pacquiao are headed down the stretch of a classic. Harold, how do you have it to this point? Okay, Jim. 87, 84, six rounds to three. Eric Morales. Jim, I gotta tell you something. After that cut in round five, I thought Eric Morales virtually swept the fight until the ninth, which Pacquiao won. Without question, the Eric Morales had a very smart fight, just like he is now, kept him at the proper distance, and Manny Pacquiao just didn't get inside enough to do enough damage until round nine, which he absolutely won. I have it five rounds to four uh, for Morales. I think it could easily be five rounds to four for Pacquiao. One thing I think Rose told Pacquiao in the corner that was very small was that to put the pressure on Morales because if there are any effects from the Guerrero fight, they would show up now that he's fatigued. Some people thought that Eric Morales was coming back too fast after a big fight with Marco Antonio Barrera, that it was too much too soon. But again, born in a boxing gym, has had an extremely active career, loves to fight, probably less susceptible to that problem than most. They're still trading. And it's going to get hot again down the stretch. What a right hand by Morales. Pacquiao's in trouble. Morales wobbled him with that right. Let's see if Eric can finish his man. Pacquiao with a blistering right. He's got his legs back. We're in Barrera Morales. He lost territory here. Pacquiao's mouthpiece is out. Morales better be very careful here. He's trying to get him, but he better be very careful. And Pacquiao is fighting back like a madman. I think it's Pacquiao's mouthpiece. It is Pacquiao's mouthpiece, but I did that. Look at Pacquiao strafing Morales with left hands, even while fighting without the mouthpiece. And now Morales gets his shot. Hold Joe hold Cortez hold. can't hold. find a low. Hold. Hold. Time. Time. Finally. Hold. Has to call time. 
to create the opportunity to get back out of the mouthpiece. And of course, Morales' fans didn't want that at all. all right, I don't think on, Morales minds. Right, Morales squats in the corner. <laughs> Fatigue may well be setting in. Oh, yeah. And incidentally, for his part, Marco Antonio Barrera went on record publicly as saying, I want Eric to win the fight. I root for all Mexican fighters. For his part, Morales said, I don't believe it. <laughs> I believe it. I do too. I think Barrera will be very happy if Morales wins this fight. Good right hand by Eric Morales to punctuate another round in which he was tactically superior. Sit down. Just Hey, coach, get up, get up, Sit down, relax. Come on, okay. let him breathe in. Hey, your knee so you got more forward. Okay. Let him come coming up. Okay. Keep breath. 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 It, it's two rounds now. Don't get overconfident, but we got it. But keep sticking with that left. Don't let him take a deep breath. Don't let him breathe. Here you see Pacquiao on the attack. Morales comes over the top with the overhand right that he continuously comes over to break up everything that Pacquiao is doing. And right here, Pacquiao blew his own mouthpiece out after a missed punch, so that wasn't caused by a punch. Power shots in round 10. Morales 22 out of 46. Doubled Pacquiao, who landed 11 out of 42. If you believe in Harold Letterman's scorecard, then you believe Manny Pacquiao needs a knockout to win. Eric Morales, if he stands up, is going to be the winner if Harold's got it right. And now, in addition to all the bleeding, Pacquiao's right eye has begun to swell shut. And it's bleeding really, really bad now. And that could give Morales some great chances with his jab and his left hook. But it doesn't seem to be bothering Pacquiao because he just shot a beautiful straight left hand out there. <laughs> hey, as a teenager, Manny Pacquiao stole or uh, sold stolen cigarettes on the streets of, of Manila just to try to survive. So he's been through tougher than this. Yes, he has. seems to sense that his job is to stand up. He's still fighting, but he's staying more out of harm's way. Whoa. Hard right hand by Morales. Steps into the fray again. Pacquiao pushing Morales off to try to get punching room. Morales is using that jab over and over, sensing that Pacquiao may have trouble seeing with the right eye. Good straight right hand by Morales. And a left hand inside by Manny. You know what that means. Blood starts to flow again. More than a minute left in the round. People may wonder. Combination by Morales. People may wonder if. Oh, good body shot. If. Herrera handled Morales twice, and, and Pacquiao demolished Barrera. Why is Morales doing so good against Pacquiao? Because Styles make fights. In part because Styles make fights, in part because he's so big and strong now at this weight that he, and he takes such a good punch that it keeps him in the game. And in part because he's always fighting Marco Antonio Barrera <laughs> in some sense or another. And this was his chance tonight to beat a guy who had badly beaten Barrera, which in his view would be a victory over Marco. All right, bring on, bring on, bring on. Pacquiao is going to need to be more active and more dynamic in the 12th round if he's going to create the knockout he appears to need. And he's exhausted. Yeah, but he's fighting like a real champion. 
And so is Morello. Both guys have been great. Both right, great. Okay, watch it. Watch that. What did you say? Give me Vaseline. Last, last round. Vaseline. Vaseline, both way. Right. Hey, this is the last round. You got the fight in the bag. Please don't get overconfident. Be careful. Yeah, we got the fight. Yeah, nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. Stay on him for me this time, okay? Uh, All right? Yeah. Let's go to work now. Mini, you got no, three no, no, minutes, okay? Hey, Mini, try to down with some hard, hard power shots, knock this in a bitch on the head. Three more minutes, man. Well, boxing fans, there's bad news and good news. The bad news is there are only three minutes left in this one. The good news, they should be unforgettable. <laughs> the featherweight division is a gift that keeps giving to boxing. And this is no exception. Harold Letterman had Morales winning the 11th, further sealing the deal on the notion that if Pacquiao's going to win, he'll need a knockout to do it. Not out of the question, though. I had it six rounds to five for Morales. Pacquiao's never had a knockout after the 10th round. And it's going to be extremely difficult to do it against the taller, extremely resilient Morales. But again, oh, oh. as Roy said, not out of the question. And then, of course, the judges have confounded us before. But in this instance, I think the tactical advantage has been clear enough. I, I can't conceive of the judges going against Morales. He switches southpaw, lands a couple of right hands, puts himself in harm's way, though, against Pacquiao's left hand. Yeah, and takes know, a big one. I don't know why he would fight Pacquiao's Why in southpaw? the world would he switch southpaw? That seems dumb to me. I don't understand that. His father told him, don't do anything stupid. Please be cautious. He switched southpaw and got hit by a massive left hand. I think Morales wants to fight. Yeah, I know he wants to fight. Oh. oh, my gosh. Talk about going into the jaws of the lion. This is a picture that doesn't need any captions. I get the best of him like this, and this is crazy because he's giving the fight away like this, I think. Guys, there's nothing like boxing, and there are no athletes like fighters. We can call this March gladness. Absolutely. <laughs> there's nowhere else in sport you'll find greater passion, greater intensity, greater courage, greater commitment, greater sheer guts than what these two guys are showing you. This is boxing at its best. See, he's just stubborn. He just means he's not going to be out there in the style proposition. I don't know why he would do this. That was crazy of him to even do that. What a fight! Nobody is going to ask for their money back. <laughs> <laughs> that may be the best two fights back to back I've ever seen. Unbelievable. What a night in Las Vegas. And in your living room. Do we want to see this one again? Well, I have a hunch we might. <laughs> <laughs> Just a wild hunch. Harold Letterman gives the 12th round to Pacquiao, and clearly Pacquiao deserved the 12th off those massive left-hand shots that Morales set up for him by turning southpaw in the middle of the round. It was crazy. 
when you turn southpaw against a southpaw, he's better at hitting you from the southpaw stance than you are hitting him. You're That's opening up your cheek. I wouldn't understand why you do it. Like right here, he throws a jab, he counters the jab with a over, beautiful overhand left. You can't ask to get hit with a better punch than that. So why would you turn southpaw at a time like that? That then was comes seconds after he turned southpaw. And beats him to the punch with a right hook. I mean, you can't out beat outbox a, a southpaw by turning southpaw this late in the fight. You're tired, you're gonna make mistakes, and he's best at this. That was crazy. It was as if he was saying, all right, Manny, you need a knockout. I'll give you a chance, chance. at it. Yeah. Let's see if you can do it. Hit my chin. Amazing. Let's take a look at the three judges who are charged with the responsibility of sorting this one out. All veterans, all terrific. Chuck Champa, one of the best. You see his scorecard for Barrera in the second Barrera Morales fight. He scored for the winner. It was controversial. Dave Moretti. Famous uh, all the way back to uh, some, some great fights in years past. And scored Deloya Sturm for Deloya, as did all three judges. And Paul Smith uh, had Barrera Morales three a draw, which a lot of media people thought was a very good scorecard. Uh, but at the end of the day, Barrera was the winner of that one. And Michael Buffer has the secret. Let's find out who won. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand, we saw two of the best fighters not just in this division, but pound for pound in the world today, have the courage to face each other. A round of applause for both of these gladiators. We go to the scorecards. Paul Smith, Dave Moretti, and Chuck Jampa all have the same score. 115 to 113. To the winner by unanimous decision, De La Zona Norte, Tijuana, Mexico. At the end of the day, seven five in rounds on all three judges' scorecards. But in my particular view, the right winner as Eric Morales, with a brilliant fight plan executed most of the way, seasoned by his normal irrational aggression in some places, outboxes Manny Pacquiao in a violent fight. Well, he was very smart, Jim. I think he used that aggressiveness at the right time because he had to take confidence from Pacquiao while at the same time putting himself in control of the fight. If he hadn't bothered Pacquiao with the confidential aggressive moves, then he would have gave Pacquiao more confidence and he'd had a harder time beating him. So at the end of the day, despite all the violence, it was a tactical fight. It was very and tactical. Morales saw his ways of taking control. Incidentally, all three judges had Pacquiao winning the 12th, so that makes the 115, 113 maybe not quite as close as it sounded. Final punch stat numbers. Morales, 37%. Pacquiao only 24%. Again, Morales' connect percentage was significantly higher after the cut appeared in the fifth round on the right eye of Manny Pacquiao. And jabs, this is an area where Morales was totally dominant, landing 62 more jabs, and throwing fewer to wind up with a connect percentage edge of 32% to 10% that category. He set up his victory with the jab. He sealed the deal with straight right hands. And we take a look at power punches where Pacquiao landed more and landed that sizzling left hand many times, but couldn't put Morales down. Following the pattern of Morales' entire career, which is that he gets hit, but he can take punches. At the end of the day, a victory for Eric El Terrible Morales vindicating himself somewhat after the loss to Barrera last fall. Let's go to Larry Merchant with the winner. Thank you very much, Jim. Congratulations. Eric, what was your plan coming into this fight to neutralize his left hand? What was your plan for this fight to eliminate the left hand? Bueno, hicimos unos cambios diferentes a los, a los otros peleadores mexicanos que habían peleado con él. El estilo un poco más mexicano, más tranquilo, más reservado, con, un, con movimientos reservados, pero con golpeo, una, contra golpe rápido. My plans was because I fought some other left hands, but I knew this guy was quick or not. We wanted to uh, jab, bob and weave, but uh, real carefully using the jab. 
when he suffered that cut on his eye, did you think the fight was going to go to distance? Cuando, cuando él sufrió esa herida en el ojo, pensaba tú que la pelea iba, iba a, llegar, a llegar a la distancia? Um, um, una herida en la ceja no, no es tan importante, ¿no? Que se puede parar, puede durar toda una pelea. Estaba muy enfocado en, en seguir golpeándolo, abrirlo más. Este, la verdad no, mi intención era terminar la pelea bien. No estaba esperanzado de la pura, la pura cortada, pero todo me salió bien. Yeah, uh, a cut in a, in a like that is, is very uh, dangerous for the, for the opponent. But my plan wasn't focusing on them stopping the fight, was to punish him. Was he tougher than you thought he was? Because he took a lot of your heavy punches too. ¿Tú crees que él es más fuerte de lo que tú pensabas? Porque él aguantó unos golpes durísimos de ti. Sí, aguantó bastantes golpes buenos. Este, creo que tener buen aguante. Sin embargo, oh, su, su golpe ahora es respetable. No es, no, es, no es tan noqueador como, como decían, pero bueno, es, es fuerte. Yeah. Y antes que otra cosa que suceda, y esto se me acabe, este, quiero agradecer a toda la gente que creyó en mí. Quiero agradecer a Top Rank por esta pelea. Yo creo que a la gente le gustó. Este es el tipo de pelas que queremos para okay. la gente. Yeah, he was a tough guy. I hit him with everything, and we knew he was tough. And we, we had to work hard to beat him. I want to thank uh, Top Rank for this fight, and this is the fight that a lot of people wanted to see. Do you feel vindicated? Restored in the eyes of your fans after the losses to Barrera. Te sientes tú reivindicado y esto restaurado esto en los ojos de tus fanáticos después de la derrota con Barrera. Yo le doy las gracias a Top Rank por el apoyo que me ha dado regresarme con esta regresarme al ring con esa pelea. La gente es quien decide en qué nivel me pone. Creo que hoy la arena estuvo bastante bastante satisfecho por la pelea que hizo Manny Pacquiao y yo. Yes, they, con gusto, con gusto estar aquí de nuevo. Yes, absolutely feel vindicated because uh, they, top rank, my promoters, they put me in one of the fights the way I, I would prove and I would show, and you can see the, the, the crowd here and, and the way the fight went, that this is what they want. Would you give him a rematch or would you prefer to fight Barrera for a fourth time? No lo sé, no lo sé. La gente decide. Eh, como vieron, yo Barrera al ring. Estoy aquí por la gente, me gusta el espectáculo. Pude tratar de hacer otra pelea, sin embargo me paré al intercambio de golpes. Y aún en los últimos rounds, cuando no tenía necesidad, a la gente es lo que le gusta. Si la gente quiere ver la 4, pues ya veremos. Si no, hay muchas peleas interesantes. Es difícil decir, el público va a tener el final say. They want some uh, tough fights. I could have uh, taken it easy at the end of the fight because I was ahead. But the public wants this and they want the fourth fight, we'll, we'll do it. But you really liked to stand toe to toe with him in the 12th round, even if you thought you won the fight, didn't Pero you? But you liked to fight with this man, even though you knew you were going to win, you still wanted to fight. Did you like that? I love you. Gracias. No. Gracias. 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 All right. Manny Pacquiao. Salamat. All right, thank you. That's thank you in Tagalog for a good fight. Why was he more difficult for you than Barrera? I, yeah. I missed that one, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why was he more difficult for you, Manny, than Barrera? It's big, uh, big because, uh, you know, it's, it's hard for, for me because uh, he's a different style against uh, Barrera. So uh, Morales is his is lager, is a boxer. So. He throws straight in, uh, straight to the body, straight to the head, and and he have an uppercut. So uh, it's very different from Barrera. Was he was his size a problem for you? Oh, the size the size not problem. You know, no, um, that's my regular weight. You know, and comparable weight. Uh, that's 120, 30 pounds. Were you surprised that he took some of your best punches? Yeah, you know, I'm um, success. Uh, we using a uh, winning so. And I wanted to ask you about the gloves. Do you think that had you been given the, the puncher's gloves that you normally wear, Reyes gloves, that you would have had a better chance to do damage? I think uh, if we we were uh, using uh, our Clito Reyes gloves, uh, I think uh, I knocked him out, you know. Why didn't you, why weren't you able to use your gloves? How did that happen that oh. your promoter gave that edge away. 
Honor the camp of Morales, they request that gloves and then, uh, you know, the Nevada Athletic Commission, this is, this, 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 uh, they want to use me a uh, winning gloves. Because I'm Morales, he wants to use our winning gloves. But you could have used your gloves. The rule, there's no longer a rule that you have to use the same gloves as the opponent. All right. You, yeah, that's right. But you know, um, the, the, we follow the decision of the uh, uh, Nevada, promoter. Uh, no, promoter. Uh, the promoter. Because that's uh, yes, he gave the gloves. You can use your gloves when, if you want, if it's not in the contract. But it was in the contract that we were winning gloves. Was that a mistake we, to put that in the contract? We were never asked. Actually, I, I do not know. I do not know that, and, and you know. Um, All right, let's go, Manny. To when you uh, hurt your eye, the the referee in round five ruled that it was a punch. You tell us what you think happened. Oh yeah, right oh, yeah that's 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 a hit, but you know that's a hit, but but you know the the decision of the referee is his pants, so um, a hit in in pants. So um, well, what was the doctor saying to you? When they took time out, because he took a long time to look at your cut. I, I do not hear that he say, what he's saying. That you know, what he says, he, and then he said, Are, "You want to continue the fight or stop?" He said, "You want?" He said, "Yeah." Did, did it affect you in the fight? The fight, yeah, very uh, uh, effective. That, that's cut because uh, that one eye can can see. You know, and you couldn't see out of that eye. Yeah, I could not see. But you know, I do my best, and then you know, the <laughs> I give a great fight. You know, people love the this fight. You know, I, I I do my best. I try my best to to win the fight. You know. Do you want a rematch? Yeah, I want a, I want a rematch anytime, um, anywhere. Thank you very much again. All right, thank you, Larry, and thank you for. Uh, I would like to thank to HBO for giving me this uh, big opportunity to sh to show the whole world. And I would like to thank to all the people loves boxing, especially the to all my countrymen in the Philippines, and also the president man and the president of the Philippines. Thank you very much, sir, and to all the government, uh, um, uh, the government uh, officials, uh, come here to watch the fight to support my fight. Thank you very much, Larry. Salamat. Salamat. Jim. All right, thank you very much. Uh, aside from the gloves, of course, how might a rematch look different? Well, I don't know. It'll be uh, very interesting to see. But like you told you, styles make fights. Uh, I take my head off to Manny Pacquiao because being that he has had chances to where he didn't want to continue in fights, this was the perfect opportunity for him to pull out of a fight or not to continue. And he bit down like a true champion does and finished his fight brilliantly. So my hat goes off to Manny Pacquiao. He tried everything he could to come back and capture a victory in this fight. He did everything he could give his fans. His fans have nothing to be ashamed of. As a matter of fact, they should praise him because he has showed a big improvement over the years of boxing. Eric Morales has already gone through 36 of the greatest rounds in boxing history with Marco Antonio Barrera. One of the reasons that I think he lost last fall, and I think you agree with me, was that he was kind of angry about being in that fight. It wasn't something he particularly wanted to do. And Would he want to do it anymore a fourth time? I don't think he'd want to do it a fourth time. I think he's happy with what has happened. He's happy with his victory tonight. I think, just like you think, I think he wasn't interested in the Barrera fight. Not saying that it would have been different, but I don't think he truly was as interested to beat Barrera as he was to prove that he could upset Manny Pacquiao tonight because it meant more to derail a guy that's on the way up than it did to beat a guy that you fought 24 rounds with already. Indeed, and now that Eric has gotten himself back to the position that he's in, he may want to use this to freeze uh, Barrera a little bit and stop Marco from making the money that he might make. <laughs> not to mention, of course, he's not at all interested in Marco having three wins out of four against him. He would only take the fight if he was pretty sure he was going to win it. Larry, uh, it was another amazing evening. Uh, a brilliant and, and vicious battle between two guys who, who will surely wind up as among the most remembered fighters of this era. Jim, how often it is, is it in this life that you have high expectations and they are met or even surpassed in anything? Um, I've often mentioned the theater of the unexpected. Things happen in a ring that you can never anticipate. Uh, we try to be smart enough to look at all the possibilities and something else happens invariably. Well, this is the theater of expected, and I'm all for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> and can we top it? Well, probably not, but of course we'll try. Let's look ahead to some upcoming programs on HBO Pay-Per-View Boxing.
On this night of champions, Mexico is king. World champion Marco Antonio Barrera rules his division and defends his title against the number one contender, South African Mazanke Fana. Ivan Hernandez battles Fernando Montiel for the Junior Bantamweight Championship. Plus, Juan Loscano and Olympian Abner Mares. Viva Mexico, Barrera versus Fana, heading up a night of Mexican pride. Saturday, April 9th, live on pay-per-view. Contact your pay-per-view provider to order. A superstar on the road to glory, Trinidad is in devastating form. A true champion ready for the spotlight. Wright wants to stop him in his tracks. When Invincible meets Indomitable, it's a head-on collision. Trinidad versus Wright, Saturday, May 14th, live on Pay-Per-View. Contact your Pay-Per-View provider to order. Is the light at the end of the tunnel an oncoming train? Morales versus Pacquiao has been brought to you by MGM Grand, the city of entertainment in Las Vegas, by Smart Pedala, the world's first international cash remittance through text, by Corona Beer, and by HBO Pay-Per-View, the best in pay-per-view entertainment, brought to you by HBO. We'd like to thank our internet partners and the following magazine partners. Now for our entire crew, I'm Jim Lampley saying so long from Las Vegas, Nevada.